just outside the NAP 2020 launch, there's this a teaser box for the new Malaysian National Car Project. Now, this is a new car brand that is to be developed by a local company called Dream Edge and it will come into the market by the time of 2022 or at least that's what they plan to do so far. There's no name for the brand just yet but inside this box there is an early prototype of what they wish to make in time for launch. Inside this box, most of the car is still wrapped in black cloth but you can just about see a little bit of the front corner as well as the rear corner. Looks wise, I think it looks pretty generic so far but then again, this like I said is just an early prototype. What you can buy, what you can eventually buy in 2022 may not look anything like what you see here. The front end looks like something you can imagine Proton to make whereas the rear end has a striking resemblance to an old Audi A5 but overall it is quite a handsome looking car but we'll have to wait and see how it looks in full. Dream Edge has previously said that this is going to be a B plus sedan using technologies from Daihatsu so yeah we'll see how all that ends out in the future. For now, there's not a lot of details that we can say so far. There's not even anybody that we can talk to. But based on this box alone, there's quite a few new details that we can talk about. Number one, this is a truly Malaysian company making cars for all Malaysians. But of course, there will be export plans in the future. Number two, this is pretty generic. I would say high value proposition, all around performer, family friendly, high fuel efficient and value for money. Yeah, pretty much everybody says that about their own cars, right? Down here is going to be a little bit more exciting, advanced interactive features including modern futuristic styling, fun drivability, great handling, IoT as in Internet of Things, as well as vehicle connectivity, ADAS or advanced driver assist systems. This may include features such as autonomous driving as well as autonomous emergency braking. Now down here, this is what I find to be the most interesting of all. The core philosophy of this car is supposed to be fun to drive. Now this reminds me of the old school Proton where the cars are made to be fun to drive, great handling cars rather than more sensible products such as Perodua. If this new brand can somewhat combine the best bits from Perodua and Proton, now that would be the ideal situation. And the last bit is here, the mission statement of the new national car project, the Dream Edge car or the third national car, whatever you want to call it. This is their mission statement. I'm not going to go through all of this because you guys can read, but it pretty much uses a lot of industry jargon such as, you know, IoT, transfer know-how, ecosystem, whatever it is. But what's more interesting uh, down here, this is the main part why this company even exists. This is to enhance local R&D capabilities as well as creating more local talent. This is very in line with what's been announced with the NAP 2020. This is not to make more cars, not to sell more cars, but to promote the industry from the ground up. So Malaysia has the technical know-how to develop, manufacture and engineer cars from the ground up. So what do you think of all this? What do you think of this brand as a whole? What do you think of the cars look so far? Let us know in the comment section below and thank you for watching.